hope I do this review justice because if you've seen our channel, then you know I'm not the best acrylic pourer painter ever. However, I'm going to do my darndest to give you guys a review of these bad boys. We just got them in from Arteza. Looks like this. It is Arteza's 32 premium pouring acrylic colors. That, my friends, is what we're going to do today. What's up, you guys? Thanks for joining me. I'm Erica. That's Jeff. Uh, and we're artists till death, and that's what we're going to do today. So, stay tuned. So yeah, here we are. So before I get things going and make an absolute mess and probably an absolute fool of myself, I'm gonna see what this says. I did watch one video, it really didn't tell me anything. Um, it was on the Arteza. Angel, I'm so glad you love the 007. It's super awesome pigment. Um, I watched one video on the Amazon page. By the way, you can find this down below, doink, 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 in our Amazon link. I have it already loaded up into our uh, Amazon storefront thing. Um, but all it showed was someone putting paints down straight out of the bottle. So didn't give me any real tips or tricks or anything like that. So we're gonna be real green when trying this. I'm gonna try it regular. And I'm also gonna try it with various additives I found across the home, including I have some Floetrol, I have some acrylic inks. I couldn't find any, like, what is it, uh, treadmill oil, but I did find some hair oil. And I also have some, um, maybe Jeff will let me use his Iwata lube. It's a couple drops, but it says silicone free, so I don't know how well that's gonna work. I don't know how luby you can be without silicone. Don't pay attention to my nails. They're very wretched. I also have glue and I have Minwax polycrylic, but it's matte, so I don't know how that's going to work. So what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for joining me. So I'm just going to read this and we're going to look at um, what's in this box first and then we're going to move on to making a mess. I mean, making a painting. So tips it says, wood, canvas, or other porous surfaces should be primed before applying paints. I use spray paint. Looks like this. Uh, test on a small area before applying to the whole surface. Nah, we're going to just go full in. That was little girl cat because little boy cat's in the shelf over here. A drop sheet and disposable gloves are recommended. I need gloves. Um, okay, check. Do not swirl the paint in the cup. That's probably because these paints are going to be on the thinner side since you're supposed to be able to just pop the top and just pour without mixing any kind of magic into them. We're going to see. And since they are thinner, it, it's probably an indication about its consistency because thinner paints are more likely to mix with the other colors. And on the video I saw, it was just someone squirting the paint out of the bottle onto the canvas. So we're gonna see. Uh, contents, 13 vibrant colors, includes three extra white and one extra black, nine pastels, six neons, four metallics. Note, do not add any water to the paints or mixing cups as this will cause the paints to crack after drying. So, that's true with most paints, but we have some GAC 800 somewhere, which is supposed to prevent that. I don't know. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much. So I understand that, um, Crystal, I don't need to add anything. It will be a problem if you want to resin over the plant. Well, of course, Nene, if if you are trying to resin over a painting, you really don't want to put any silicone or oily anything in your mix because it is an absolute nightmare 
to clean silicone off a painting. And to imagine some people actually mix silicone into their resin. I did one time as a test. It's a horrible idea. Which reminds me, do we? Where's the resin blast? I bet I could put that in here. Ew. I don't know where it is. I don't use it in resin. So instructions say, shake the bottle before pouring the paint. Begin pouring your acrylic colors into a cup. When pouring each color, try changing the position of the cup. Pour your desired colors onto a canvas or surface of your choice. Tilt the canvas in one direction at a time to spread the colors. How can you tilt it in more than one direction at one time? These are the things I wonder. Um, continue tilting until the entire surface and sides are covered and you're happy with the outcome. I gotta talk to you about that, Arteza, because if you continue tilting till you're happy with the outcome, you could be tilting for a long time, especially with acrylic paints in my case, because, well, you'll see. It just never works out for me. But if these work out for me, then y'all will know that it's legit because nothing ever works out with acrylic than me. Wait four hours for the peach to be dry to the touch or 24 hours to be fully dry. Four hours? That's like super fast for an acrylic yeah, pour, right? right. <coughs> a sealer can be applied after the piece is fully dried. And they say on here, fully dry is 24 hours. So I know with a lot of acrylic pours, you're supposed to wait like weeks before adding a sealant. I don't know. So these are the colors that are in this box. They seem very vibrant. And when I was reading reviews on this, um, I read that the colors are very awesome. So let's give you guys a different viewpoint so you can see me get into this box of stuffs. All right, extra this for me to use in my shop. So, okay, so there are four premium titanium whites. Look like this. And they sound pretty liquidy. Yeah, four of those, phthalo green, mid yellow, lemon yellow, vermilion red, brilliant red, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, I love ultramarine thing, Mars black, two Mars blacks, sea green, probably gonna use that color because it's one of my favorite colors of earth, uh, silver gray, which is like a hair off from the white, Lavender, okay. I gotta say, usually their names are a little bit off from what I've found, but um, these colors seem quite accurate in terms of like labeling the colors. Can you mix acrylic pores with resin? Whiteboard Becky, so here's the thing. You can put acrylic paint in resin. There's a lot of things you have to be careful about though. If you add too much, you could set off your resin too soon and it'll become a thick marshmallow fluff mess. Um, it could instantly seize up your resin if you put too much acrylic paint in. And when you add a water-based pigment into your resin, you risk um, altering the chemistry of it so that it's not as heat resistant and it's not as scratch resistant or UV resistant. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, this is carnation pink and it, it said some of them are pearl. I wonder if it'll tell me which ones are, that is. Cerise, rose pink, coral. Okay. I would have said peach, but okay. Pastel yellow. I actually like this color, and I'm not even down for yellows. I'm going to have to turn off this overhead a little bit. Uh, forest green. 
Looks like a teal, but cool. Uh, neon yellow. Neon orange. I'm assuming these will glow under a black light. I don't have to assume for long. Yep. I just really hurt my eyes a little bit. Oh, my pleasure, Becky. This is what um, I'm here for, is to answer questions as we go. And if I can demo something, just let me know. There are no stupid questions. Neon green, neon blue, neon purple. Has anybody else noticed that the neon purple and blue never glow as bright as other neon-y things? Maybe it's just me. Silver, okay, so that's gonna be a metallic. Gold, mmm. Their gold looks like mustard. A bronze. And a wine. That wine color is really nice. So. I thought they said they had pearls. Oh, I guess it was metallic, not pearl. Well, poop. Oh, well. So what colors do y'all think we should use today? Nice box. That's what you said. Yes. Mary, you set me up for that. What's up, Clara? So obviously we're gonna pull a titanium white because fact. Um, and I did read some reviews that were like, meh, it's not 32 colors because four of them are white. But honestly, you use so much white when you do an acrylic pour so i think it's actually a good call that they have four of those in here the wine color is killer right i'm trying to decide if those two look horrible together i think they probably do but i like both of them man what up tz the neon. <sighs> okay. Those colors will work together. So I've got neon pink, sea green. That's awesome, S. Haley. The white. I need a depthy color. I need some dark color. I don't know that the wine is going to go well with that pink color. Maybe that one. Close your eyes and pick the first color. That's scary. Oh, that's black. Come here. Give me ultramarine, phthalo. Meh. 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 He helped me. Having a color crisis. It's tied right now, blue and gold. Y'all don't think this gold is too brassy? I'm either gonna use this one or this one with these three colors. I don't have midnight blue. I have ultramarine blue, and a patello blue. Ow. I didn't even think about the bronze. Let's look at that one. Coral. That would look nice with that aqua, but I need a dark color. Phthalo green. So many blues. 
All right, fine. Let's go ultramarine then. So we'll use these four for the first one. And maybe we'll add a splash of gold for good measure. All right, now I need a something. We'll use these somethings. What up, Vamp? Yeah, I say Patello because of um, Amory Litterhoff. If you haven't checked out her channel and you're into uh, acrylic pores, make sure you check her out. She's amazing, super talented, and has the most awesome hair. Let's see. I need... Nope. I need to dull that color out for you guys. Just give me two seconds. Oops. Right then. Why am I so nervous? Fun. No, it. All right, so we're gonna do. I'll probably have to shake these pretty well, huh? Sorry, that's gone blurry. We'll put this guy up there to keep it from going blurry. But them apples. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. All right, it doesn't have any instructions on the bottles, but they're fair enough size bottle. They're two ounces or 60 mils each. I feel like I'm about to be ultra gluttonous when I just dump this out. All of them seem to be safety sealed for your safety and safety things. <sighs> Help me. Yep. Give up. Give up. I know I'm going to rip this open and paint's going to go everywhere. Okay. It's not a chip situation. Anyone else have that happen to them? No? Just me. Cool. Uh, I'm not even going to use the squirty part on this because I'm going to try to dutch it. Boop, boop, boop. This one bottle isn't even enough for a Dutch pour. So to those people that are poo-pooing at the fact that um, there were four whites in the pack, suck it up, buttercup. You're going to need them. I'm just going to like put the cap on this and leave it upside down over here under on the side and grab another white. Hi, Miss Evelyn. I'm getting a call from Clute, Texas. So if one of y'all are from Clute, Texas trying to call me, sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> Anyone else have problems with safety seals and childproof things? This is what I didn't like about them. It was like Fort Knox getting them to open, right? I don't want to use my teeth, but it's about to happen. Don't do this at home, kids. If you didn't understand that, I said don't do that at home. Um, granted, it was a little bit of a pain in the arse to get into this, but... Also, I think this light is too bright. Hey Google, turn off studio light. B, we, never mind. She usually doesn't listen to me. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna say. So if you guys remember, fill me in. I'm gonna call it good enough because I wanna get this ball rolling. Had to get a kid to open it, right? Mm 
Michelle, that probably would have been easier than my way. So this is a very thin paint, 100% super thin. And I may have put too much on here, but I don't know. Oh yeah, that's that super safety seal is probably so it doesn't leak in transit. I've had my fair share of paints that have gone <sighs> absolutely crazy in transit and just leaked all over everything from every one of my uh, suppliers. So I guess that's good from like a resale perspective. That was just very extra just to get into this. All right. Let's move this paint around. I've seen a lot of people use a spatula, but I'm a resin artist and we just we just dip our fingers in it. Jeff may be asleep, he didn't hear that. It smells like the paint part of Home Depot. Like it actually smells like paint. And I don't know that I ever smelled an acrylic paint that smelled like paint. I don't know, maybe there's some magic in here that I am unaware of. It doesn't say on the thing if this like self levels or whatever, but I guess since you're gonna be like moving it about the canvas or whatever, that, um, Got you, Clara. I'll keep an eye on it. Is it not cheaper to use pouring medium with fluid acrylics? I'm not sure, Benjamin. I haven't priced it lately, but who knows? Um, I can I can try to look it up for you at the end of this video, though. Right then. Oh, I'm getting geared up to do something awesome, and I don't even have these bad boys open yet. Don't use your teeth, kids. It's been my experience that neons are thinner usually than even um, anything. Ooh, that one was easier. Like, neons seem to be thinner and seem to um, be more transparent, translucent, and mix with other colors. I don't know if that's the case with these, but we're going to find out. It doesn't self-level. Well, poop. I'm sorry you guys had to witness me ravage that. Okay. It doesn't say to shake, but I'm just assuming. So if this stuff doesn't level by itself, I feel like I need to just do that. Then again, I'm going to be stuffed, so it's going to... It'll be fine. Okay. So... Let's do this. I'm nervous for some weird reason. I don't know how much to put down, but since I am a negative face, negative face, that's not, that's not words. Negative space kind of gal, I'm gonna err on the side of caution. If this works out, it'd be really interesting and cool because Ooh, that color is awesome. And it actually felt just the same amount of consistency as the other ones. All right. I needed something. Here's something. I'm using a heat gun, not a blow dryer. Let's turn the, turn the heat down. 
Hi, Sharon. Well, all right. So my bloom dutchy pour turned, it just went rogue. I wanted to cover up it, but I guess I just went, went in too hard in the paint. I need some fire. fun is happening really quite yet but a lot of times with these you have to um, just let them be and watch them for a minute because as the piece settles it makes things happen So, oh yeah, I was wondering where all that green came from. I forgot I used gold. So as I'm manipulating this about, it is starting to do some cell stuff and I didn't use anything but what is in the uh, bottles already. So that's fun. Okay. So it looks like this. 100% not my worst thing with acrylics. I'm going to find a place to put this so that the cats don't get to it because they will. Should totally try it on a cup turner. That would be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to try doing a tumbler for you guys. I just have been under the mindset and impression that I got too much stuff going on in the studio. I don't need another something. But I've gotten a lot of emails and questions about it, so it's probably time. Probably time. So while it is really thin and um, obviously the paints did mix together a little bit, I didn't use any green, but as you can see, there's green represented in the piece. Um, so the colors mixed very easily. However, they're still saying really true dripping off the edges. Like they're not, it didn't break over that hard right angle that our boards have. So that's a plus. And I actually really like this ghosty look where am I? I don't even know if you guys can see it, but where the colors were under the white and so they kind of pasteled out and there are cells in here and it's just paint straight out, straight out of Compton. So I think it's a fun piece. I'll do a true color video for you guys um, when this video is over. Trying to make sure I'm not dripping 
I'm gonna go put this in the dust free zone. It looks like I have some bubbles. Is that a thing in acrylics? Uh, it is in fact a thing. So I'm only hitting with fire to pop these little bubbles that are all up in my this. And we'll see if it um, sets up in 24 hours. So another amazing acrylic pour artist you guys need to check out is Mixed Media Girl. She does immersion acrylic pours. Can't wait to see it, Miss Evelyn. All right. Should we do new colors, same colors? What's up, Joe Fish? I love Artist Loft or Mixed Paints. They keep their lines. I think I agree on some purple at some juncture. Uh, purple and white. Let's just go crazy with it. Let's do purple, yellow, sea foam. out of that one. Probably close to everything out of that one. We're going to have to open another one. 32 colors. Don't do this at home, kids. still difficult. Alright, whatever. Oh, no problem, Miss Haley. Okay. Well, now we need to open all of these guys, too. I'm going to try it the regular way first. Got one. I really need that tank top. Oh, glitter is always an option. And I will arm wrestle anyone that disagrees. I really like the fact that these, um, the neons are the same consistency as the other ones. I was actually legitimately concerned about that. 
Okay. Let's do the thing where we grease the pan with white. And I guess I'm gonna like follow some directions and um, put some color down and then surround it with more white. And then do the thing. But you guys are still saying no silicone, huh? Grammy Mimi, like 78, 78 me's to open a bottle of paint. Yes. Sawdust is man glitter. Love that. I think it needs something darker. We'll just do a drop of this. This. Okay. Now we surround it with white. Get up in there, white. I don't think I've surrounded it enough, but whatever. We're gonna find out together. Mommy, 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 and a truth. I didn't, I didn't mix anything in any of it yet. I'm just using it straight out the box. Okay, we're gonna go on low. Low and slow, low and slow. I'm scared. never looks like when I see all of you guys do it. That being said, there's parts of this I really like. We're going to swirl it around and see how it goes. Nope. I need more of this right here. Help that flow off a little bit. If I don't add more paint right there, since it was so dry, it would just kind of stop and interrupt the flow pattern. That's better. Be real slow, bring it back to the middle. Do up here. Be, will you tell your fans we're in the middle of filming? Recenter, recenter. I kind of like that guy, so I'm going to leave that, but that's not cute, so we're going to have to do something about that. It's actually a fair amount that I like about this piece. There's just also a fair amount that I would love to just scrape off of this piece. So I'm just using this overflow to help my paints move. That color is not going to be there for long. Nice, nice. Work it. Love it. Work it. Now this has to go. Keep 
go. Bring that back to Centaur. Let's see what we got. Silicone on sewing paper. So the thing is, I don't really have any silicone, Ugh. but I have some not silicone. So we'll see if that works. All right, this one's definitely an upgrade from my first one. Not getting any real dynamic cells or anything, but I mean, they're there. focus that's fine whatever all right I don't think the paints have any additives but we are going to do a couple of coasties with some additive options I'll be right back you look like this looks like this they're right here Now we did those. Let's see. Swipe and blow. All right. I'm just going to use what has fallen off to like um, grease the pan on this one because waste not, want not. So far, I have to say that I do not have the best luck with acrylic pouring, so it wasn't going to be hard for these paints to um, be impressive to me. Basically, if I have anything that I don't want to scrape off, then it's a win in my book. So I have Jeff's um, Iwata lube, but it's silicone free. It's not gonna focus because life, but it says it right there. And oops, didn't mean to smack you on that one. We're gonna see what happens if I just add a couple droppies. I'm gonna add a pillow of that. Blue. Yellow. Aqua. Let's put some pink in there for good measure. Science. Science, I tell you. Oh, I guess I need to put this under other colors. I don't know if it's gonna do anything though, so we're gonna find out together. Let's put, oh, we'll just put a little white on top. How about that? See if it does anything, anything at all. Where's my, oh. I don't know that that lube did anything. 
I think they make that stuff now silicone free because if you put that in your airbrush and you're painting cars and you paint a hood and you go to clear that hood, you're, you're going to get fish eye really bad. But they made it to where it did not fish eye. Whale poop. Yes, whale poop. Fine. So we're going to move on to hair oil. If that doesn't work. I think that's all I have. Unless Jeff runs up on some WD-40. 7.55. Okay. Hello. I guess I should open a couple more colors. I'm just going to keep using these ones. Ow. Let's pop open this wine red color. That's an awesome color. What are we gonna put with that? All right, this is Uberless. Uh, oil, which I haven't even opened this in forever. It's actually really good for your hair. Coconut hair serum will add cells. I don't have any. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jude. Hey, See how it's doing, whoops, things right there. I don't know if I'm gonna end up resining these, so that's why I'm really not concerned about silicone being in them. Rainex, I don't have, don't have. So not that much so far. Okay. That's gonna be not cute. Remember how much paint we used to use? Like, yeah, we used to go through it. All right, that silicone just went right through the paint, probably because it's on the thinner side. So that's not a fun look. We're gonna set this aside and forget it ever happened. Hey Laura Taylor. Just here making a mess. You know how I do. You let me know if you run up on any WD-40. Okay. Or Rain-X or coconut oil or What other stuff do I have that I could put in this? Not a lot. But it won't, honestly, it's not gonna hurt my feelings if I have to do another one of these again, because 
I just think the colors are really good. I just hate how much of this white paint I have to use. Where's my, oh yeah. to say the colors do look nice together they flow easily across the piece and not having to think about mathing out some acrylic formula to get this to do what I want it to do is a definite like selling point for me because I never mathed right when it came to how much water versus how much paint versus do you use glue, do you use GAC, do you um, use Floetrol, how much water, if you put too much water in it's gonna craze, what's the difference in crazing and cracking, like all of the things. really like this uh, color combo. Let's do just neonies. Mm -hmm. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day, Laura Taylor. I hope that your meeting goes swimmingly. I'm gonna base this bad boy out in purple because I do what I want. Can I make a white cell creator with a drop of acrylic titanium? So you're gonna need Minwax, conditioner, uh, glue, acrylic paint, acrylic ink, and something else to do cell activator. I keep hitting it with heat like that's gonna make a daggum bit of difference. That's a fun one. Jennifer, it's just by itself, just acrylic from Arteza, not mixed in resin. I'm digging this one, y'all. Whoops. I guess I don't necessarily have to have gloves on. I'm always a fan of these psychedelic -y. I'm 
Unfortunately, the colors just aren't as bright on the camera as they are in real life, but I'll do a true color video and post it for you guys. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more of these bad boys. Let's try one with a black base. Maybe another one I have to open. See how easily it glides across the surface. It's definitely a nice paint. And I can see Jeff and I using it for um, when we have to create drips in paint because it flows so easily. I think I'm gonna do just a black and white one. So simple. so far. Okay, okay. I figured this black would go slightly brown when I started to manipulate it around. So I kind of just kind of not bet on that or relied on that I guess to make the third color I could actually see my house self doing like a whole painting with these paints and like just black and white then again, coasters seem to give me, personally, a false set of, um, a false sense of security. Because I'll do one like this and I'm like, yeah, elegant F, and then I try to do it on a larger scale and it does not do what it did on, ooh, okay. I decided it was gonna give me some action on that. I like this one. Jennifer, most Mars blacks will go brownish just because that's one of the main colors they put into it to build up that black. The blacks and neon would be awesome. I agree. Let's give it a shot. wed that out a little bit. I am going to put some white down just in the center to kind of separate the neons from fading into the black. Yeah, um, to me the colors are more vibrant with resin as well, but I'm not above trying new things, you know? This one looks super fun.
So it did dull the colors just slightly, but not too bad. Favorite one still is probably going to be the purple and neons and the black and white. All right. I wonder if I can inject this paint with a pipette or if that would be just asking for a mess. We're going to find out in a minute. I'm going to do this one and then we're going to try to inject it. You should be able to sand that out, Jennifer. All right. This one was supposed to be a lot cuter than how it looks. Glad you did, Miss Haley. I'm quite a fan of resin pours myself. All right, well, that did more than I thought it would. Note to self don't blow it. Mm. Okay, abort, abort, abort. We're gonna do a smush. So it's an improvement. Hope that texture goes down a little bit though. But if it doesn't, I'm not that mad at it. Same with this one. I keep thinking the fire's gonna do something because resin doesn't. No, no! Running out of room, y'all. Okay. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh, injectables. Where is mine? Pets. I'm hoping these paints are thin enough that I can actually do what I have in mind. Bye, Joe. All right. We're going to find out together. I don't have patience for that. I don't know how people just roll this paint around. There's a pothole outside of our house. No one just got in a massive wreck. Okay, we got a good little pillow down. Let's inject, let's inject some blue. 
Hopefully we can squeeze up it into my this. I got some. I don't need that much. Okay. I'm going to cover it with more of this. Okay. 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 Okay, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Cool, tight, tight. Put that right there. some purple uh, no Jennifer I did get some in but I have to package them and get them ready should be in the next couple days though okay so now we've got our Should I blow it with a blow dryer? Seems like the blow dryer just does too much for this little bit of space that I'm working with. But this may finally give me the negative space that I've been trying to do. Jennifer, I tried to use my face to move the paints around a second ago and they it just it was not not a good look. Okay, this may take the top spot as my favorite one. I think that one looks fun. It looks like a bird. An angry bird. See those two eyes and the beak is open. The inside is purple. So then this is a wing. And this is a wing. And this is the body. Anyone else? He's like this. Ah! He's doing the something touch my foot. That's the face. I could try the wireless duster. I'm going to name him uh, Sully. An angry penguin. I can see it being a penguin. All right, I think I still have a little bit of paint in my injectable pipettes so we're going to try that on here we'll use the duster and see how it fares <coughs> no no I haven't tried swiping so we'll do that too before the end of the feed Okay, it's enough boys. injection with resin. I'm going to have to do something else with this one though. 
Tell you what. Tell you what. We'll do a swipe with this one. Okay, okay. They have a new favorite. Let's see how it turns out. Yeah, Sully the Seagull. So that's quite interesting. There's a little pocket of cells right there. I just have to do another one of these in this color scheme just you know for posterity's sake and research and development yeah, but I can't imagine how many coasters you have around your house that goes to anybody that does resin art in general Okay. Seriously, last one, because I'm running out of space. See? But I'm gonna do that color scheme again, and we're gonna do another swipe. At least that's the plan. Sorry about my runny nose today, you guys. No amount of Zyrtec seems to be helping. <sighs> okay. Something black. Try to put the pink just on top of those colors because I think it really got dulled out um, during the swipe over on the last one. Now I'm gonna need more swipey paper. Please hold. Okie doke. Cool. 
I'm so impatient when it comes to this part. That's a fun sound. We can get down with this one. It does have some sellage, which is awesome because it's paint just straight out of the tube, right? All right. So I'm going to do a true color video for you guys and put it up in ATD's Poor People so you can see what, what. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely very pleasantly surprised by how these work. To be honest, when something says it's going to be like super easy way to do something that I've had immense struggle bus situations trying to work, I'm always like, mm, okay, sure. If you say so. So let's do not an update. Thanks for playing. Results from today's video. I actually tried an acrylic pour situation and it didn't suck super bad. I actually had some successes. Only a couple of fails, but I think overall I like how they worked out. Check out the video on YouTube if you want to see how I use these Arteza Premium Acrylic Pour bottles of paint right now on YouTube. They look like that. Let's post that before I forget because I am the best at forgetting things. Okay, Arteza doesn't have a W in it. Alright, that video is live right meow. They dry lovely and glossy too. Oh, I didn't even consider the fact that they may dry glossy as opposed to matte or flat. Yeah, I take um, I take Zyrtec sometimes, Claritin other times. No particular reason why I do sometimes one and sometimes the other. And sometimes they work, and then also sometimes they don't. Today is one of the don'ts. As you lean over your shoulder and try to read the box. Yeah, I couldn't read it real well either just then. Anyways, um, so in terms of usability and workability, I have to say that I'm not disappointed in this Arteza Premium 32 color pouring acrylics. I don't know why they put something so gold and sparkly on the front like that because it looks like it's textured and like mayron s or 007 and that is not in this box uh, the gold that i use basically disappeared but i'm happy with how these turned out i'm happy that it wasn't an immense fail like most of my acrylic pours are if you look back in the history of this channel you will see all of my fails there's so many. Um, it was a lot of fun. The fact that the guess and stress is eliminated from it because I don't have to math. And anytime I'm not mathing is a good day. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely give this, I'd probably give it nine bananas. The only reason why I've minus one banana is because 
a lot of people when they do fluid art want certain kind of results like larger cells and I think if they had one bottle of white that had an additive in it it may um, help people I don't know I hope that they do larger bottles in the future that would also help because I went through two and a half bottles of white just on two 10 inch rounds and 10 coasters two and a half bottles of white so yeah I'm I'm very happy with how they worked out and I hope you guys give it a shot if you do don't forget to use the code artist till death 2 to get 15% uh, off um, and tag us ATD ART is our hashtag if you want to show us what you've been working on because we'd love to see it anyways read all of these things and join us in our other social media endeavors look at that guy he always knows always knows hair silicone I thought I used hair silicone but it really didn't do anything cute but also I've had this bottle of hair silicone for like six years I don't know if silicone goes bad though anyways thank you guys so so much for watching seeing what we're up to today we'll be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Dallas Texas United States of America universe of the Milky Way time um, if we do go live early, we will post in our, this, doing, 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 ATD's Poor People group on Facebook. Join us there to see and meet so many awesome artists that just want to share and help other people and get encouragement or feedback. Don't have Dave Methicone either. Sorry about my sniffles, by the way. Um, so yeah, I got to take this bad boy out and... I will definitely be revisiting these. I want to try it with um, like a cell activator just to see because I know that those paints are thicker and this paint is kind of the consistency of a cell activator. So I'm going to, I'm going to revisit. I'm going to give it another shot and see if I can get it all the way up to 10 bananas depending on how it reacts to the other major ways of using acrylic paints. Enough moose. You're gonna get people worried about you, big boy. Oh, thank you. I know it. This is Cujo. If you've never met him, he's my big boy. But he is on his way because he's a jelly bean. So yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through, and we will see you guys manana. Till then, bye. Bye. He's asleep, but he says bye too. <laughs>